Imagine a place nestled somewhere secluded, a private bay, all to yourself, quietly tucked away from civilization, where you can find your own thoughts again and press pause on a busy life for a moment. For many, the idea of glamping in a beautiful location can offer peace and tranquility to an otherwise hectic lifestyle. And for two breathtaking nights, we booked ourselves a stay at our own private bay glamping accommodation in the Marlborough Sounds of New Zealand. So come along and join us as we take you on a tour of our luxury glamping adventure and offer a review of our stay. Welcome to Cocofy Glamping. Well, it's been a hot minute for us. Yeah. Apologise for that. But we're finally back with 2022 in our new glamping Marlborough Sounds getaway. So why not come with us and check out where we're going to be staying for the next couple of nights. Come on. Cocofy Glamping is located at the top end of the Marlborough Sounds. Across the bay is Derville Island. It's in the northwest corner of the Marlborough Sounds. It's about a two and a half hour drive from Blenheim or Picton. The roads can be very treacherous and windy and extra caution should be taken on these roads as a lot of them don't accommodate for two lanes as you get further along the drive. The glamping accommodation totally exceeded our expectations from first glance. Oh, a mm. Kiki, where are we? Oh my God. We couldn't believe our luck with how big the actual property was. It looked a lot smaller in the videos that we saw. It's actually a lot bigger in real life. We were totally surprised by this. Another factor that we should probably mention is that you're allowed to take your pets, but you have to let the owners know first. That's why we took our six-year-old Samoid, Kira. Hey Kiki, you enjoying the ride? You enjoying the adventure? Yeah. So welcome to our private little getaway in our private own little bay here in the Marlborough Sounds at Cocofy Glamping. And this place is pretty cool. You may have seen a previous episode where we did kind of what you could call glamping in a wine barrel cabin. If you haven't seen that video, we'll link it down in the description below. Anyway, without further ado, let's go check out this awesome, magnificent glamping bed. So welcome to Cocofy Glamping. As you can see, we're in the lounge area at the moment, an amazing Really comfortable couch. I uh, might end up falling asleep here watching some TV later on tonight or playing a board game. The awesome lounge area. We have this amazing kitchenette area. So it's really cool. You've got everything you can need. You've got your sink. You've got a little bar fridge. We've got a kettle. All the utensils. Everything that you actually could ever need for cooking. After we have eaten our food, or cooked our food, we then move into this amazing bedroom. Now. We all know I'm not the tallest of people. I don't know how I'm gonna get on this bed because it's um, it's really big, so. Ugh, and it's really comfy. I think I'll sleep really well here tonight. So let's go check out what this glamping site has to offer in the way of utilities. First things first, we have an outdoor bar. Now, I wanna say this is stone. No, it feels plastic. We have an outdoor bath. It looks pretty rustic. It suits the whole vibe of the area and it makes it feel really special. And I can't wait to have like an outdoor bath or an outdoor rain head shower. Now that. That's the rain head. Oh, I didn't see that. I thought it was this. No, that's just a normal shower. Wow, okay. So here's your rain head, kids. Sorry. We'll both be enjoying that a bit later on. Oh yeah, that's nice. We also have this bathroom area. Now, glamping, for those not inclined or familiar with the term, is actually a conjunction of words, camping and glamorous. Glamorous camping. And you're definitely not roughing it out here when you were glamping. I mean, look at this. If you didn't see any utilities for cooking wise inside the tent, don't worry, we've got you covered. Follow me. Over here, we have our own little kitchenette area. Now it's all gas powered. So we've got a little gas cooker stove over here and I'm assuming a little barbecue as well. Isn't that cool? Also, we've got another fridge over here so you can store more things if you need to. Don't feel like doing much? Why not just sit here in the hammock chair looking at the amazing view? You know what else is great about this place? It's dog friendly. Kiki. 
this place has you covered from power, gas, water, what have you. Now it's all powered by these bad boys behind us, solar power. They're quite big panels, but we've been instructed not to use too much of the electricity around here as the, sometimes the generators can't handle it. I.e. don't use your kettle up too often or use it sparingly. And also we've been instructed not to bring hair dryers as they can fizz out for the solar power. The panels, they just can't handle it. As we said before, we've got this whole private little bay to ourselves. That's right. Private. <laughs> can you believe this? We had an absolute awesome first day at Kokofi Glamping. Now we booked this place to celebrate our first wedding anniversary. And we were so stoked that we could bring our dog along with us to celebrate. And we started to wind down for the evening with a romantic dinner served with green shell mussels and Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc for dinner. Just remember if you do come here, bring your bug spray. Yeah, the bugs have been biting us like crazy. But only since the sun like, started um, to go yeah. down. And perfect night spend with someone you love, remembering a year on from the day you lost your freedom. And on that note, we'll catch you later. And after dinner, we decided to end the evening by watching the beautiful sunset over the bay in our gas-powered hot tub. What a beautiful first night to spend away on our weekend away on our wedding anniversary, first year and we have a beautiful sunset to look at. What do you think about this place? Ah, oh, it's uh, absolutely amazing. And I did downplay the drive. It is a bit of a hard drive. You know, it, the roads aren't great. And especially after rain, you've got a lot of slip. And this makes it all worthwhile. I mean, look at the sky. No, this place is pretty cool. And we got like, <clears throat> we just had a spa, but I'm gonna throw on some lights here. Oh, look at that. So after a relaxing first day, an awesome epic first day, very hot out here, we're gonna call it a night and we'll see you guys again tomorrow morning. Good morning, honey. Good morning. How was your first sleep here? Oh my God, it was amazing. It was absolutely stunning to wake up to that view it was so good yeah and let's go check out that view this is what we got to wake up to this morning oh m g on our second day we decided to take a hike to see a waterfall that the owners had mentioned ultimately taking the wrong track on the first go the track should only take about 30 to 45 minutes. I think we were gone for nearly two hours. Kiki's struggling a bit. Natalie's struggling a bit. And even I'm struggling a bit. We took a wrong turn. Yeah. Finally made it. See the waterfall. Well, that's, that's the waterfall. After nearly dying on this track, we all decided to spend the rest of the day at our own leisure. I did a bit of snorkeling, Natalie did some sunbathing, and then it was my turn to cook dinner. And we're having steak. We have a kitchenette. End of day two, cooking up some T-bone steak on the barbecue that they got out here. Also, we got some cob corn over here. Come take a look at this. Num num. Cob corn. And we're feeling a little bit tired too. Went out snorkeling earlier. Yeah, they provide us with Put some snorkel gear down here as well. Like you got fins, uh, snorkel obviously. And they've also got kayaks and paddle boards as well. Just around here. Oh wow, surfboards. Got surfing. And just around here, they've got life jackets, kayaks, paddle boards. And this place really has everything. Oh, she's asleep. Gorgeous lights. 
No thanks back. Being said, it's time to call it a night. And see you guys all tomorrow. But before we do, what? 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 Totally forgot to mention this last night. Isn't that pretty? Oh. Whoa. Oh, okay. Definitely time to see you tomorrow. Too many wines. <sighs> so peaceful. We had an absolute amazing and romantic time at Kokofi Glamping. It was world class and totally exceeded our expectations. We had never seen anything quite like it in our own region of Marlborough before. Our stay at Kokofi Glamping cost us $490 for two nights. It was a long drive to get there, but we think it's well worth the time and the money if you want to spend time there. We would highly recommend staying there for longer than two nights though, as it was just amazing and totally addictive. Well, this has been an absolutely amazing stay out here at Coca Five Glamping. We've loved every minute of it and we're very reluctant to leave. Yeah, Kira doesn't actually, every time we walk out of the tent, she stays in as if to say she's not going home. Yeah. I'm going to give this place a million stars out of ten. <laughs> It is uh, spectacular. If you just need to get away from everything, this is the place to come. Yeah, that's right. And hey guys, you know it's been a while, but if you thought this video was tight, leave us a like. This ain't no bribe, please subscribe. And hey, what the hell? Ding that bell. And we'll catch you again in the next one. Bye.